From the smallest atom to the largest galaxy, everything in the universe obeys the laws of physics, where our brains are made of the same atoms or molecules as the rest of the universe. So could we take this theory further and ask whether consciousness could be part of the underlying fabric of the universe? Humans have also managed to extend this to the internet, where there is an eerie pattern between the universe, the brain, and the internet, where experts have been asking the question whether the internet could one day develop its own consciousness. Maybe in the distant future, all three will unite into one giant mind. Humans have always been fascinated with the thought that the universe somehow reflects us and whether the universe could be a giant brain. Let's delve deeper into the trinity that is the universe, the brain, and the internet. Number three, the universe. Nature's scientific reports republished a study that shows the galaxy expanding and growing in patterns very similar to that of the human brain. So, does life in the universe follow a natural pattern? Combining astronomy and physics allows us to look at network growth pattern like the human brain, the internet and the galaxy. They all seem to follow a natural law. If you study nature, you will see that the human body reflects a natural pattern where our brain grows in very interesting ways by connecting clusters of brain cells to each other using neurons as pathways. The electrical firing and linking by these pockets keeps expanding and connecting in order to form a massive complex network, very much like the internet. The giant brain theory is even more compelling now that we know our universe fabric grows like a brain in addition to being conscious. This theory follows the laws of physics everywhere in that the universe appears to be the brain of a giant body where the cosmic web and the brain cells look alike. Brain cells and galaxies might appear very different but a recent computer simulation suggests they might be governed by the single fundamental law of nature. Atoms are like solar systems, where the large-scale structure of the universe is like neurons in a human brain. And there's an interesting coincidence that the number of stars in a galaxy, galaxies in the universe, atoms in a cell, and cells in a living being, are all approximately the same large number. When the universe is compared with other networks, it was found that all expand in eerily similar ways, which appear more than a coincidence. According to a study published in Nature's Scientific Reports, the universe may be growing in the same way as a giant brain, with the electrical firing between brain cells mirrored by the shape of expanding galaxies. Number two, the brain. There is still much to learn about this walnut-shaped organ. If you actually magnified the brain, the physical brain becomes a neuron brain, which is composed of neurons and electrical currents connected through signals. The brain, as we naturally view it, appears as nothing more than a piece of flesh, but under magnification would be seen as a grouping of neurons. However, if we further magnify the brain, the neurons become atoms, and if we are now looking at the whole body, we are now nothing more than atoms. We're now longer flesh and bones, but atoms. Now, if we further magnify our brain, existence has now become a quantum brain. What was once a body has become nothing more than thoughts and information. What we call the material dimension is now the quantum dimension. There is no difference between the dimension of matter, the dimension of atoms, and the quantum dimension. It is all one existence. So, our brain is not only our universe, but it is somehow connected to the universe. Number one, the internet. The internet is like a worldwide brain, 
where there is a similarity in the laws of networks that suggest that the structure of the universe and the laws that govern its growth are similar to the structure and growth of the human brain and other complex networks such as the internet. The similarity between the networks is amazing where we are connected to the universe and in turn the universe is a reflection of ourselves. When we compare the brain and the internet we start at the cerebral cortex which is made from billions of neurons or brain cells that fire together resulting in simple pattern recognition to long-term memory. The internet is made up of hundreds of millions of computers that include mobile phones and other kinds of automated machines that communicate over the net where there are many layers that can link any two points on the internet. We know that the brain is one of the most complex networks in the world with more neurons than there are stars in the galaxy. Its hardware is a complex network of neurons. Its software a complex network of memories. And so too is the internet where its hardware is a complex network of computers. Its software is a complex network of websites. There is a lot we can learn from the brain and it can tell us where the internet is headed next. The brain delivers all our mental capabilities that enables us to love music, cry, laugh and love. Although in comparison the internet is much slower and smaller than the average brain, the basic structure is the same. The internet has the ability to go beyond simple calculations towards the random prediction power of the brain. But as the electronic neurons multiply, they appear to replicate like biological growth itself, like the evolutionary growth of the brain. Today the internet is like a growing replica of the brain as it slowly unfolds into a more powerful brain that could one day create its own consciousness. Is this something to fear or celebrate? Could the universe, the brain and the internet one day unite in harmony?